Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, the windlass is subjected to a load of 150 pounds. Determine the horizontal force P needed to hold the handle in the position shown and the components of a reaction at the ball and socket joint A in the smoke journal bearing B. The bearing at B is in a proper, proper alignment and exerts only force reactions on the windlass. Okay. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics and Textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So we have this structure here uh, with a, a bow and socket joint at A and a journal bearing at B. Because we have other supports on this particular structure, we are not going to include the reaction moments on the journal bearing B. We are only going to have translational reaction forces in the x as well as in the z okay so let's draw the reaction forces at the journal we expect uh, ax like so and then we expect az and then we expect uh, a y then there we expect uh, b bz then also in this direction we expect uh, b x right and then we have this force here going down like so already given which is the weight of this particular uh, which is just a 150 pounds like so okay great so now uh, this is a rigid body uh, 3D rigid body equilibrium problem. So, and we have how many unknowns? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we have 6 equations of equilibrium. So, let's start applying them. So, we have the summation of forces in the x direction equal to 0. What do we have in the x? We have ax uh, plus bx. Uh, P also is in the x direction. Then we'll say uh, plus P equal to zero and you want to find p we want to find the support reactions at a and the support reactions at p all right uh, summation of forces in the y what do we have in the y we have a y what else it seems that's the only one therefore this is equal to zero zero what zero pounds and then summation of forces in the z what do we have in the z we have a z plus b z uh, minus 150 mm, what else that's about it then equal to zero in summation of moments about the x-axis equal to zero x-axis a x is parallel to the x-axis a x and b x and p are both are all parallel so they will not cause any moment about the x-axis uh, a z and uh, a y have uh, their liver arm equal to zero so the only forces that will cause a moment about the x-axis is 150 as well as uh, b z so using the right hand the right hand thumb rule uh, b 150 will tend to it will tend to uh, cause it will tend to rotate this in the opposite direction to be negative to cause a negative moment about the x-axis right 150 so we'll have minus 150 uh, 150 by uh, deliver arm the other arm at which point is this cable coming out here it's coming out at 2 right this is 2, this is 2. Okay, because yeah, it's coming out at 2. This is 2, 2 feet. Okay, and then BZ, of course, it will be the opposite. It will provide, it will produce a positive moment about uh, the x axis and the length is 4. Uh, what else? Just the 2. Okay, then this is equal to 0. Therefore, our BZ, we can now find it 
it will just give us a 150 by 2 divided by 4 so this gives us a 75 this is a 75 pounds great so if that is the case we can also find in advance we found bz there bz is equal to 75 therefore uh, az will just be equal to so 75 minus 150 is 75 right so this will just give us also a 75 pounds great and then we have summation of moments about the y-axis equal to zero y-axis why is the y-axis there we go again any force that is parallel to that axis will not cause any moment ay is parallel no moment uh, those without the lever arm lever arm equal to zero they will not cause any moment about the y-axis bz and uh, bx they have uh, lever arms equal to zero no moment uh, ax and um, az they have lever arm equal to zero no moment the only one that will cause a moment about the y-axis is p as well as 150 so when you look at 150 because this force is tangential it is tangential to uh the it's tangential to uh the circumference of this circular uh, pulley all right and we know that when you have a circle like so and you have a line that is tangential to a point this particular distance which is our radius is always perpendicular right we know that right and this radius here is equal to the radius of our pulley which is equal to 0.5 okay and we have a 150 here so this is what is happening here so it is going to cause a moment about the y-axis where the value will be 150 by the radius of the pulley which is 0.5 is that fine great and that moment is going to be equal to is going to be equal to a positive moment is going to be equal to be a positive moment so we have 150 by 0 0.5 right and then um, p is going to cause a negative moment so it will be p this will be minus p times one okay minus p times z one feet okay one feet equal to zero and therefore our p is just going to be equal to our p will be equal to 150 by 0.5 which is just equal to uh, 75 pounds great is that fine and then finally we have summation of moments about the z axis equal to zero about the z-axis uh, we are going to have uh, az az and bz are parallel to the z-axis no moment ay and ax they have their liver arm equal to zero no moment the only ones that will cause a moment will be and 150 is also parallel no moment the only one that will cause a moment about the z-axis is bx and p bx and p all right so uh both of them will cause a negative moment they'll cause a negative moment and uh, we'll have minus bx by uh, the lever arm which is a four and then we'll have uh, minus p times the lever arm which is one plus one which is a two then plus four which is a six okay equal to zero okay and we've already found what p is equal to we just said p itself is equal to 75 so therefore our bx will just be equal to our bx will just be equal to so we have a minus 75 by 6 and then divided by 4 so we have a bx equal to minus 112.5 pounds all right so we found what bx is and we have p so we can refine the rest so bx is equal to a minus 
112.5 and then we have p which is equal to uh, 75 and then with that we can find ax therefore our ax will just be equal to uh, so we have minus 112.5 plus 75 so we have ax equal to 37.5 pounds great so let's replace these values quickly uh, we have az what is our az our az is 75 in the same direction 75 pounds our ax is just equal to 37.37.5 pounds our ay is just equal to zero pounds our bz our bz change of direction this one uh, direction will change so this one is going to be equal to bz no sorry no direction change i meant bx this one will maintain the way it is bz is uh, 75 pounds and then bx is the one whose direction changes this is the one i meant so to be going in and the value for this one is uh, 112.5 pounds all right and then p finally p is just equal to uh, p is equal to okay so p this p is equal to uh, uh, 75 pounds great so let me outline the final solutions we have ax uh, like so uh, we have ay like so uh, we have az like so we have a bz like so uh, we have p itself which is like they are given then we have bx in that manner right so we have one two three four five six great i think this is really about it and i hope the video was helpful let me just check if it equilibrate summation of forces in the x we have 75 this side and 37 this side 37.5 so 37.5 plus 75 gives us 112.5 okay it equilibrates then in this in the y this is just zero in the z we have 75 and 75 and the 150 all right looks fine i guess we are done uh, and i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screen